Lindley. Time. Throws. Touchdown! Gavin Escobar with an unbelievable one-handed catch. How about it? Ruffin in motion. Throwing it back to Escobar. Escobar came across the field, refusing to go down. And look at the big man going up, down, and into the end zone. Leaping over defenders to answer here in OT. I first started painting just when I was a little kid, but uh, my mom got me into painting when uh, probably about seventh grade. She got me into acrylic painting, and once I hit high school, I started taking painting classes. So it's been rolling ever since then. Uh, I just like to do things that are appealing to look at for me. So if I like a certain scene, a beach scene, uh, I just like to paint things that I would like to look at and my friends like to look at. And that's the, I, I get, get the, the most satisfaction uh, when other people get to see my paintings and enjoy the paintings that I do. I like to look at other paintings and other artists and get inspiration from them as well as just doing random uh, things that come through my head. What are some of your favorite paintings that you've done? Uh, probably my most recent paintings. Those are the ones I'm most excited about. Uh, I recently did one that was based off this artist I liked. It's a, it's a big wave crashing on the beach and it's probably my favorite recent painting. And do you have a lot of people asking you to paint them pictures, whether it be friends or family members? Yeah, I always get that from teammates when they come over, like, hey, do me painting, man. And I do like doing paintings for people, actually. I do really enjoy giving them to friends and uh, family so they can also enjoy it in their house. So that's, uh, I get a lot out of that, uh, giving away paintings. But I also like keeping some of my favorites to look at myself. But back at home with uh, my family, we have tons of painting between me and my mom and uh, I took a bunch from back home and so I'm just putting them in my house right now, just letting everyone experience them. So talk to me about your inspiration for these paintings you got hanging up here. Uh, well, I'll start with this one. This is my roommate Jake, you know. I did one of myself too, but I thought I'd do one with my roommate and uh, we both had them hanging up in the dorms and now they're in our house right now. So that one I really like, it turned out good. I like doing uh, some waves, some scenery and also uh, Giants, they're my favorite football team growing up, so I like to do a lot of football paintings. And uh, at the time, Brandon Jacobs was on the team, so he was probably my favorite player at the time. And how much do you paint during the season? I know it's busy with games and uh, practices. How much time do you actually get to paint during the season? During the season, uh, there's really not much time. Maybe on Mondays for about, a, if I get a, like a two-hour break or something, or during the day. I'll uh, try and uh, paint a little bit, but there's really not much time during the season. It's mostly during the summer or off season. Okay, and um, let's transition a little bit. Just talk about your career at San Diego State, how far you've come, kind of from a redshirt freshman, just learning the position of tight end to where you are now, you know, a semifinalist for the Mackey Award, come a long way. What has that whole experience been like for you? Uh, it's been a great journey coming to San Diego State. Uh, you know, I came in playing tight end for the first time. And being able to play a lot, you know, it's just been a great journey with all my teammates.